Hey guys, this is David, Knuckles Farms. Wife and I have gone to Walker Farms to pick up a, our new Hereford Bull. Probably get a sneak peek of them in the back. That's Hank. Hank, we have named him Hank. Hank the Hereford Bull. He's uh, he's two years old. Mr. Mr. Walker is, is uh, I think he said he's 86 now at, Wa at Walker Farms. He's been raising Hereford bulls his whole life. And I think I'm the third generation of Knuckles to, uh, to buy a Hereford bull from him. So uh, this is exciting. We, uh, about a month ago, a little over a month ago, we bought two Angus bulls and uh, we put them on the home farm and, and we had this lone old Hereford bull that we've had forever it seems like. And uh, I knew he was getting old. I knew it was time to be thinking about a replacement for him. And a friend of mine wanted to buy him, uh, give him one good year left. And uh, Mr. Walker had this fine bull that, uh, that I just bought. So, um, so anyway, we're, we're on the road. We're headed to the vet to get him checked out, make sure he uh, tests and passes his bull soundness exam and uh, make sure all of his parts are working. If not, we'll, we'll take them back and I've got a plan B uh, bull in place for, uh, for Mr. Walker. Uh, but this one was my favorite. It was the only one that hadn't been tested, but that wasn't a reason not to give it a shot. So we're gonna take him to the vet and get him checked out. Uh, we've already named him Hank. And uh, I'm gonna put an ear tag on him. I think something Something like H181, 18 because that was the year he was born. That'll, that'll remind us of his age. Uh, and uh, one, maybe, maybe his first, our first person. So uh, anyway, we got a. I, I have zero blank ear tags, so we're gonna swing by Tractor Supply and get uh, get some blanks and uh, then head to the vet. So we'll see you soon. All right, we're here. We'll, uh, we'll go inside and let them know we're here and get this party started. Got All right, guys, we uh, just got through with the vet, uh, getting our bull checked out. Um, he checked out good, so that's a great sign. And uh, we, uh, uh, my wife agreed or thought it was best to spare you the unpleasantries of doing a bull check. Um, so, uh, so we didn't get that on video. Um, didn't want to scar any youngsters for life or anything. But, uh, but anyway, he checked out good. We, we, uh, we gave him the royal treatment we got fly tags in the ears we vaccinated him uh, wormed him so anyway he's ready to go and we are now headed to the woods farm where he is going to meet his gals so we're on our way we'll see you at the woods farm This is Hank's first trip to our farm. 
so we thought it was best to put them into the barn instead of turning them loose on the farm. I think the girls are curious to see who the new addition is. Now that we got Hank in the barn, we're going to let the cows into the feed lot so that they can eat. Hey Daisy. First introduction to his girlfriends. We knew Hank would naturally be curious about his new surroundings as well as his new friends. And that's why we wanted to keep him in this feedlot for a little while so that he could kind of calm down and get familiar with everybody before turning them loose on the farm. Once Hank calms down and settles in with his girlfriends, then we can turn him loose on the farm and know that he'll stick pretty close to the herd. Since we got home at a decent time, we thought we'd take advantage of the cool weather and build a fire. Thanks for being with us today on Knuckles Farms. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel, hit like, share, and we'll hope to see you in the future. Thank you.